for 25 years. NASA has been filming the journey of the James Webb Space Telescope. When the James Webb Space Telescope, JWS, transmitted its latest batch of deep space data and images, the scientific world stood still, but not out of admiration alone. This time, something entirely unexpected emerged from the seemingly infinite cosmos. What JWST observed was not only mind-bending in its scale, but deeply unsettling in its implications. Casting doubt on some of our most fundamental assumptions about the universe and humanity's place within it, the telescope, hailed for its precision and sensitivity, had unintentionally uncovered something so baffling, so profoundly alien, that even the most rational minds in astrophysics were left shaken. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Among the dense tapestries of distant galaxies and collapsed stars, JWST's powerful infrared eyes locked onto a section of space previously thought to be devoid of notable phenomena. This particular region, designated only as a calibration zone in past missions, had always appeared as little more than empty darkness when viewed through other telescopes. But with Webb's unmatched sensitivity, that darkness came alive with data. Structures began to appear where there should have been void, and strange signatures emerged in the cosmic background that resisted classification. The telescope picked up what initially looked like a collection of gravitationally bound objects, orbiting a massive core with no visible light emission. At first, this was considered another variation of a black hole system, nothing unprecedented. But as the data piled in, it became clear that what JWST had discovered didn't follow the predictable patterns of a black hole cluster. There were rhythmic bursts of energy that pulsed with mathematical precision, frequencies repeating on such exact intervals that randomness was almost entirely ruled out. The spacing between these pulses followed a sequence eerily reminiscent of prime numbers. Panic wasn't immediate. In fact, many teams rushed to interpret the data trying to reconcile what JWST had found with existing models. But the precision and scale of the signals defied natural origin. Not only that, but they seemed to originate from multiple synchronized sources spread across vast distances. Each source pulsed in unison with others, across spans of light years. This coherence couldn't be accidental. The sheer energy required to maintain such synchronization over cosmic distances was, by all known physics, beyond the capabilities of natural phenomena. More chilling still was the realization that these signals were not simply mathematical, they were encoded. Early analysis suggested a structure within the signals, layers of information built atop one another like an interstellar nesting doll. The encoding was beyond anything human-designed radio or digital formats had ever achieved. The implications spiraled quickly. If this was communication, who or what was sending it, and why now? Across observatories and research institutions, disbelief gave way to a rare silence. Usually, discoveries are followed by excitement, public announcements, and collaborative enthusiasm. But this one induced a different reaction. Private meeting, encrypted data transfers, embargoes. Many of those analyzing the data began to isolate themselves, reporting exhaustion, mental strain, even insomnia. Some whispered that looking too deeply into the signals gave them the sensation of being observed in return. The signals contained repeating geometric shapes when converted to spectrograms, spirals, fractals, and even complex polygons that had no immediate connection to natural cosmic phenomena. They bore uncanny similarities to ancient human symbols, though distorted, perhaps through the sheer distance or medium through which they traveled. Among them were formations that resembled certain mathematical constants, like pi or the golden ratio, but broken or refracted in odd intervals. It was as though someone or something was speaking in a language built from the very laws of the universe, but warped just slightly outside of human comprehension. The phenomenon wasn't just visual or radio-based. Webb's onboard infrared spectrometer picked up fluctuations in thermal signatures too, meaning something in those regions was emitting or manipulating heat in non-random patterns. Some theorists posited that this was an engineered form of propulsion, or worse, a form of modulation intended to influence or even manipulate the fundamental forces in that sector of space. The idea that advanced intelligence might be capable of bending space-time itself didn't feel like pure science fiction anymore. What set this event apart from previous unexplained cosmic discoveries was how it clashed with the statistical models that predicted the likelihood of intelligent life. According to mainstream science, intelligent civilizations capable of interstellar messaging, or worse, engineering entire regions of space, should be extremely rare or so far removed from us 
that we'd never interact. Yet JWS appeared to be looking directly at evidence not just of their presence, but of their intent to be seen. The idea that an extraterrestrial intelligence might want to broadcast its presence is one thing. The realization that it might be actively monitoring and synchronizing across multiple cosmic relay points, on a scale that dwarfs our planetary understanding, is another entirely. One question began to haunt those reviewing the data. If this was a form of surveillance or signaling, how long had it been going on? And were we the intended recipients, or simply bystanders who stumbled across it? There was another problem, the timeline. Light from these phenomena had taken billions of years to reach us. That meant the senders were either from a time so ancient that they might no longer exist, or they had devised a way to bend the constraints of space-time. Even more disturbingly, some researchers noticed that certain pulses had variable redshifts an impossible trait unless the source was somehow moving against the flow of cosmic expansion. That would imply not just technological advancement, but a form of physics manipulation beyond anything in known theory. One unsettling hypothesis gained traction behind closed doors, that the entities behind these signals were not communicating across space but across time. That JWS had captured echoes from the future, or perhaps messages sent backward into the fabric of reality. Though speculative, this idea struck a nerve especially when patterns began aligning with Earth's own cosmic history. Some signal repetitions matched key astronomical events in Earth's past. Gamma ray bursts, solar cycles, even human timelines. Though likely coincidental, the mathematical resemblance was close enough to send chills through hardened scientists. International agencies faced a dilemma. Disclosure could incite global panic, but suppressing the information risked losing control of a scientific revolution. The data had already leaked in fragments through subtle channels in academic circles. The astrophysics community was alive with speculation, and though none dared speak openly, everyone understood that JWST had observed something that could redefine humanity's understanding of existence. Security clearances were invoked. Certain segments of Webb's mission data were pulled from public servers. Algorithms used to interpret cosmic radiation were rewritten to exclude anomalous bands where the signal had appeared. But even among those trying to contain the implications, there was division. Some believed this discovery marked the threshold of contact. Others feared it represented a warning, or worse, a demonstration of power. One unsettling possibility became impossible to ignore. The observed structure in space may not be natural or communicative, it could be a construct, a megastructure so vast that it stretched across parsecs, hidden in the dark matter regions of space where it avoided detection until Webb's infrared vision uncovered its subtle energy fluctuations. The very idea of something like a Dyson sphere, long relegated to theory, now resurfaced with terrifying plausibility. There was debate over the scale. If the structure spanned multiple solar systems, it would require an energy source beyond any conceivable star. That left only one option, that the very fabric of space was being manipulated as an energy medium. Such a breakthrough would mean these beings, or whatever intelligence existed behind the phenomenon, had transcended physical constraints entirely. They wouldn't just be visitors to the cosmos, they'd be its architects. Not everyone agreed that the signals were of non-human origin. A fringe minority speculated that JWST might have stumbled across the remnants of a pre-human civilization, a cosmic precursor species, possibly linked to Earth's own origin story. This hypothesis drew from the eerie synchronicity in the signal patterns and their vague resemblance to ancient symbols, geometry, and mythological archetypes. Though highly speculative, it forced an uncomfortable reconsideration of Earth's place in the galactic narrative. Yet, even as interpretations diverged, a universal sense of unease settled over the scientific community. The fear wasn't simply that we were not alone, it was that we had never truly been alone to begin with. And now, after eons of cosmic silence, something had answered or acknowledged our gaze. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on the James Webb scare? What do you expect it revealed? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.